it's that time again. Sony has unveiled the PS Plus Essential Games for January 2024. The following games will release on the first Tuesday of the year, that's January 2nd, and this month we have a ratty stealth outing, an action RPG, and a supernatural vampire hunt. Please leave me a like and maybe a comment to help me please the YouTube gods. Thank you kindly. Here we go! First up on the PS5 is A Plague Tale Requiem, the sequel to A Plague Tale Innocence we got on PS Plus a year or two back. In this stealth-focused action game, we follow siblings Amicia and Hugo making their way through France as a dark plague covers the land. And if you haven't noticed, there's rats. So many rats. As our heroes are quite diminutive, combat is mainly focused around avoidance and misdirection to move guards out of our path and utilising swarms of rats thanks to Hugo's mysterious powers. Puzzles are everywhere, usually keeping fires burning to hold off the impending swarms and carefully strategizing to remain unseen in dire moments. Essentially, if you enjoyed A Plague Tale Requiem, you'll enjoy this one too. Everything has been improved. It's bigger, it's better, it's more brutal, and there's so many more rats. Metacritic says 82%, which is very impressive. Next, we have an action-adventure game from the studio that brought us the brilliant Guacamele. This is Nobody Saves the World. Everything has been overrun by beasts and fungus, and our last hope to survive is you, nobody. Very bland looking nobody. We then fight through the minions of hell in dungeon crawling RPG style to save the day. And here's the great part. The wand we possess can switch the holder into different forms, 18 in total, including magicians, rats and dragons each of those having different abilities, like a bodybuilder pushing his weights, there's a horse that can run very fast, and even a necromancer. Shapeshifting quickly becomes the core mechanic to overcome increasingly challenging scenarios. And that's not it, each skill we unlock in the progression tree can be applied to other character forms, creating your own unique playstyle. At a basic level, you'll give the knight's shield to more vulnerable characters, or if you prefer, give rockets to a rat or toxic waste to that rushing horse. Getting creative with options opens up possibilities and constantly revamps the gameplay. Nobody Saves the World can be played solo or online in co-op. One year ago, this was an Xbox exclusive for three months, and now it's dropping on PS Plus Essential. Will you give it a go? Game 3 is Evil West on both PS4 and PS5, a third-person shooter in which we play as Jesse a Vampire Hunter. Set in the American frontier, we must purge the evil and work our way towards vampiric boss fights. This means weapons are key, and Evil West is packed with them, from your trusty six-shooter to augmented electrified rifles. And melee is actively promoted too. Your fists of steel can resemble Wolverine's claws if you so desire. There's about 14 hours of content here with reviewers saying things get awfully monotonous, but if you want to run through hordes of vampire minions with fun and unique weapons, then Evil West is happy to oblige. Average review score 7 out of 10. So that's our month. What floats your boat? Nobody saves the world in co-op is my jam. Please share your opinions in the comments. I'm Adam, you're awesome. It's been a pleasure. Happy New Year. See ya.